Uh, my name is Barry, I'm 75 years old and I return from a vacation in America and uh, as normal I go to my GP, fill up with my tablets and while I was there he said uh, could he do a blood test on me because they were short of blood tests. When Barry went back to get the results two weeks later, we were absolutely shocked to hear that he had a very high PSA. We hadn't even thought anything of it. He had no symptoms, nothing. And I went to see um, a urologist. I had an MRI. I had all the bits and pieces that were, were done. So by this time, from the initial blood test, we're going on nearly three months. And he told me that I have got prostate cancer. Which we had suspected, but when you actually hear this prostate cancer, or the big C, your heart sinks. He said I had four options. One was to do nothing. I actually can't understand why they say um, do nothing. I found that wasn't an option to even really be discussed. Um, maybe if Barry was 90, that might have been something because they wouldn't want to put you through the treatment but he's not 90, he's 75, and a young 75. The other one must have surgery to remove the prostate. He explained to me that my heart probably wouldn't be strong enough for that. Radiotherapy with the hormone treatment. Well, we know from friends with this hormone treatment is not good. They get lots of symptoms, lots of side effects. And bracket therapy is when they put the little ricicle things that are um, radioactive into the prostate but that meant I couldn't go anywhere near my future grandchild uh, that's going to be born in a couple of months um, because I would be radioactive myself so that that was out of the question. We discussed it and we're both very upset and Barry had to be somewhere on the Sunday with one of our children and I sat down with my iPad and I thought I'm going to research to see if there's anything anywhere that we can do that would be better. I found this focal therapy and it looked amazing because this is a one-off treatment without, without just, just look too good to be true. I phoned through, I spoke to a gentleman, a delightful gentleman, and he made me feel really good. He told me what could happen and what would happen. And from there, we went to see uh, Mr. Nygat. And he explained everything. He explained all the procedures not only focal therapy. He was a very kind person, very quiet person, a kind person. He said, we'll just need to see if you are a candidate for focal therapy. At that point, my heart sank a little bit because I had to do something. And then he came back to us and said, you are a case uh, for, the, for focal therapy. And uh, we set a timetable and, and we worked to it. And I couldn't believe when he was discussing with me, he said, you probably won't have any side effects at all. I can't promise, but most people don't have any side effects at all. And I haven't had any side effects. I went into hospital, they gave me a whiff of gas, put me out, did what they had to do, woke me up. And next day I came home, I had a catheter for five days, six days actually, um, which wasn't a problem actually. Um, and that was it. In the years gone by, they used to say three school years and 10, and that was your lifespan. It's not the same today. We're all living longer and we're having better lives, I think, than our predecessors. So we didn't want our lives dismissed. We just felt like we pushed to one side. Um, and we had, to, we had to get something done. And Jackie will always do, if, if someone's ill, it's going to be dealt with now. And if they say an operation, you can come back next week and have it, no, have it now. We want the diagnosis of prostate cancer gone in the best and easiest way possible. And we found focal therapy, and that was the best and easiest way.